Hello everyone, I'm Red Paragunji. I bet you were expecting some kind of joke out of me. Sorry, no joking around this time. Instead, I'm going to be showing you guys a behind the scenes look at my machinima, Smash Connects. Oh, you're probably wondering what this thing's doing here. Well, it's my new logo! I figured since a good amount has changed between episodes 1 and 2 that I would update it. And speaking of changes, let's go over the history of Smash Connects and its development. I started working on the project back in February of last year. Around this time, I had originally intended for the series to be a fanfic on Wattpad. The version 0 opening was going to be an unlisted video that would only appear on Wattpad, but it was later adapted into an actual machinima intro. There were a few other details that I had drafted for the Wattpad version that ended up getting transferred over to the final product. For example, did you know that Pyro was originally going to be female? There were two old drafts for the project that featured a female player with Roy for their avatar. One was straight up an insert for myself, while the other was a separate individual named Rachel. In the second draft, I've acquired Rachel as being male at first, but then reveal her actual gender later on. This character would later become Felix in the final version. Some of the other characters in this draft are the same as in the final version, but with different colors. For example, Arcade Angel was initially going to be green instead of purple. There was also going to be a Little Mac character in the series that ended up getting scrapped. The sentient avatar gimmick that the series is known for was also not present in the draft, but was later included in April of 2020. On the note of April... The 26th of that month was the first time I revealed information for Canucks in some way. This was a short scene included in my lab video for Lucas. What's interesting about this scene is that the text bar I used was vastly different from the one in the final version. It also had a robotic announcer that I voiced in the short. Pyro Blazer, logging in. Maverick Gold, logging in. This entire scene was made as the first teaser for the series, with other teasers being made right when Min Min came out. The first episode was still being worked on at the time, and I wanted to keep the project a secret, at least until July when I made my announcement video. This is where I got in touch with the Machinima community that I soon became a part of a month after its release. Episode 1 was then released two days after my birthday and gave everyone in the community a glimpse into the world of Kinex. It wasn't the best start I could have. In fact, one of my old habits of having fast text beats carried over into making it, which wasn't very good for reading. God, I'm having really bad flashbacks to the Amiibo Showcase series. Anyway, while I had quite a few hurdles to jump over, the reception for the episode was overall really good, so I proceeded to work on episode 2. This is where I really tried to push myself and up the ante from the previous episode. Not only that, but I also had Nick Savrice, aka the Bonehead Clan, help me come up with ideas for the series as a whole. For example, the VC Fighter gimmick had been upgraded to being more akin to the transformation in Virtual Force, Cross with Digimon's Fire Merge, and Cross Fusion from the Battle Network anime. These talks I had with Nick all took place a few months before I joined Smashing 13. The X-Bond gimmick was something I came up with on my own. Normally merges in media give the user a power boost, but since I have a virtual merge as the standard gimmick for the series, I made the power boost separate and achievable through the power of their friendship. Kind of like Ash Greninja. Nick also suggested that Super 64 and Metadark from Smash Dasm would make a cameo in the series. One more on that later. For right now, I can share with you what goes into making the scenes for an episode. I do all of the body acting for the series. It's a lot of work for one person, especially when it comes to fight scenes. But I did it, and that's all that matters. For fight scenes, I mix replays that have CPUs in them with ones that don't. It's a little unconventional, but at the moment, it helped make for a decent fight scene. The only fight that I didn't use this method was the first scene in episode 2. This is because I wanted to convey how I made fight scenes without CPUs. It also felt like a movie fight scene where people wait their turn to fight. So I went with it because it worked with the whole movie actor theme of that portion. There were a couple of scenes I made that ended up not making it into episode 2, so I'll show you them right here. These were unused for a few reasons. For not meshing well with the flow of the episode, or for not being as good of a shot as I thought. This one in particular was going to be the original end portion for part of the episode. I hope you find it interesting nonetheless.
And that is all I have to share with you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to understand how this series was made. With so many supporters backing me up, including my Machinima group, I am very eager to continue this series and have it grow along with me. There are going to be some other changes made besides the logo by the time the next short comes out, so stay tuned. And until next time, keep on rockin'!